couple of times in the bout. Yusufin Mudig does crack a smile quite often, and wow, they're going right for it here. Nice left hand lands there for Shaban. And such fast paced action here at straw weight. 52 kilograms or 115 pounds. Nice kick to the body of Air from Mudig. Both fighters connecting here, almost going shot for shot. Front side kick there from Mudig. Shaban tried countering with that left hook, was just out of range. But lands a solid leg kick. Oh, nice right hand lands there from Mudig. Oh, high kick misses, as does the spinning back fist that followed it. Both fighters are landing very nicely here. And again, that, that left hook of Shaban is probably one of her best strikes. She's landed it a couple times now. Oh, right hands as well. Looked for a little moment like Yusufin Moody was perhaps a little bit stunned. And again, this could easily have been the final matchup. Both of these ladies very credentialed, very skilled. Oh, again, that left hook connects for Shaban. It's almost like the left hook of Shaban versus the straight right of Mudig. And some redness on the lead leg of Shaban now, as a result of those leg kicks she's been eating. And you can just see the experience. Oh. Submission attempt here from the bottom. Looks like it might not amount to anything. <laughs> just going ham at the end of the buzzer. Both ladies. Both ladies moving very well. Swedish corner calling for Mudik to disrupt the rhythm of Jaban, which is probably a good idea. Oh, high kick kind of landed, but not with a whole lot of authority. And so far in the clinch position, Jaban seems to be just a little bit sharper. Oh, nice single leg takedown there for Shaban. But looks like Moody is trying to connect the Dars choke here. Looks like it's slowly tightening up. Oh, yeah, she's going for it. Oh, but nice defensive work there from Shaban. Mudig using her, her weight appropriately. And interesting, even landing some knees while trying to get the submission. Never want to be inactive. And she gets a reaction from Shaban. I'm sure at a time like this, Yusufin Mudig wished that there were pride rules in play. 
uh, she would be able to land some knees to the head. Of course, that is not allowed in amateur MMA. But I am liking these creative knees to the body. Looks like she has abandoned the darts choke. It's a little hard to see from Sangal. No, she gets. All right, instead it's Magdalena Shaban that gets on top. Half guard position here, but Shaban not completely out of danger. Now she is. And once again, the second round ends similarly to the first. Shaban on top, landing strikes and Mudik firing back from the bottom. Solid kicks to the leg there. Such a great fight. It's almost a shame that we're seeing this fight in the quarterfinals. Again, both fighters seem to connect almost simultaneously at times. Such a tough fight to score when both are connecting like that. Oh, look at that. Shaman catches the kick. Tries to go for a hip toss. Nice shots off of a break there for Mudig. And Shaban at least is the one pressing forward. Nice takedown there as well. Very well timed. Great job by Shaman, hooking the legs of her opponent together. We're nearing the halfway point here of the final round. And a great way to end things here for Shaban. Got that early takedown. I like that strike up against the cage as well. Oh, there's a real jockey for position here. Who will end up on top? It's Moodig or, yeah. Actually gets the back position, and now to half, full guard. There's so much going on. These strawweights are scrambling like a couple of wolverines here inside the cage. Triangle attempt, triangle from the bottom. Over half a minute left to go. It looks deep, but so far no extension from Shaban. Oh, huge slam there from Yusufin Mudig. And they go the full three rounds, pretty much expected, and Immediate embrace there from both fighters. All right, Poland stand up. Magdalena Jaban gets it done by a split decision.